Kirby Moore. I'm an oil water separator engineer with Moore Separations Research in Louisville, Texas. I'm here today to talk to you about oil water separators for electric power generation facilities. They can be used for hydroelectric facilities, fossil fuel facilities, and also for renewable facilities. Uh, hydro dam water, transformer stations, and repair yards. Uh, we did some units at a solar power station. New units and retrofits of existing equipment to upgrade the performance and the flow capacity. Uh, this is a unit in this photo for turbine leakage water at the Rock Island Dam in Shalon, Washington. This is one of eight units actually installed there. These are a retrofit of an existing unit. Here are two more applications for electric power systems. The one on the left is a transformer station for BC Hydro at Williams Lake, uh, British Columbia uh, during the installation of it. The one on the right is a very large system for a uh, hydroelectric power facility in Labrador in Canada. Uh, that's uh, 18,000 US GPM unit. Actually, it's two 9,000s, but close enough. We also do retrofits of existing systems. In the left picture here, you can see the uh, uh, workmen taking the old media out of an existing fiberglass tank at Mica Dam, which belongs to British Columbia Hydro. Uh, they replaced it with our media, which you can see in the photo on the right, and got much more flow capacity, almost twice as much, and higher quality effluent too. Uh, parking lot stormwater processing. At a hydro facility, you get turbine leakage water. At a renewable facility, such as a solar power or a wind power facility, you don't have any leakage water, but you do have some water from stormwater processing for the parking lots. And so at a large um, solar facility in Canada, we did just that. We did the uh, processing for the stormwater so that the entire plant would be as clean as possible. The benefits of coalescing plate systems, they're gravity operated, they have high efficiency and predictable oil removal. We can design for whatever maximum effluent is required. Here in the US, the requirement is usually 15 milligrams per liter or less, which would meet the requirements of the Clean Water Act. Some facilities require 10 milligrams per liter or less, and we can do that as well. The plates are not consumed, they last for years. We don't really know exactly how long they last, but we recently replaced some that were installed in 1985, so that's about 30 years, and a lot of them have been replaced at 17 to 20 years. The recovered oil is recyclable. Thank you, please look at the other videos on this site. <music>